welcome to my channel my name is Abdullah Kamal and I'll be showing you today how to apply conditional formatting using a formula um, we're gonna start with a simple example so uh, the table we have here shows the uh, total monthly sales for each salesperson and what we are interested uh, to highlight here is those um, salespersons who could achieve the monthly sales target uh, so to do that, uh, we need first to select all the um, uh, the uh, salespersons here. Then we go to conditional formatting, and then we go to new rule. Uh, once you get this box, uh, you go to use a formula to determine which cells to format, and then you get this box here where you can write your formula. Now, before you write your formula, you need to remember two things. The first thing is that your formula must be a logical formula. It must return either true or false. If the formula returns true, the format that you set here will be applied to the name. If the uh, formula result is false, no format will be applied to the name. This is the first thing. The second thing is that uh, you want to compare each and every one of these sales figure against the $5,000. And to do that, the cell that you use to compare here must not be locked with a uh, dollar sign. And let's see how it goes. So you start with the equal sign here and you want to compare the sales value. So you start with the first cell in the column. When you select it, you see that Excel by default locks the column and the row. What you want to do is you need to remove the lock on the row number. And that will enable the formula to be applied to C3 to begin with and then move to C4, C5 until it completes the whole column. And then once we uh, set everything, we go and write our uh, uh, formula. So we want uh, to highlight the names whenever C3 or C4 or C5 is greater than or equal to the monthly sales target, which in this, uh, in this case uh, is $5,000. And now what is left is only to, uh, to choose your format. And we want to use green here and we use bold italic here and then we press OK and you immediately see which employees achieve the um, monthly sales target. Uh, if you change the uh, monthly sales target to say 6,000, you see immediately how some names disappear. If you increase it even more, let's say, um, 8,000 for example you see more names disappear and only four left at the moment so this is the first example and it's um, uh, quite simple so let's uh, move to a more uh, complex example so what we have here is we have the employee names and we have the hire date and what we are interested in highlighting are those employees who have who have uh, 10 years of experience or more. So as we've done with the uh, first example, you select all the employees or all the cells that you want to highlight. Then you go to conditional formatting, you go to new rule, you select uh, that you want to use a formula, and then you write your formula here. You start with the equal sign. Now we want to figure out how many years each of the those employees have. So uh, the way to do that is to uh, use the today function. So today function will give us today's date and we say minus the higher date. And when we, uh, we need to select the first cell in the higher date column. And as we've done before, do not lock the row number. So the formula can move to other rows. And then we, uh, now the formula as it stands now will give you the total number of days since higher date. 
to get the uh, number of years you divide it by 360 and let's add more parentheses here so we can divide the whole thing or, or we compare the whole thing now to uh, the years of experience required so let's say greater than or equal so the number of years we want it to be greater than or equal uh, 10 years and we want the uh, years of experience required to be locked because uh, if we don't lock it it will move this the e3 will move to e4 and e5 and this is something we don't want okay so we go to format and we select for example this color and we just select bold italic and we click ok and immediately you can see that you have about uh, six employees here who have 10 years of experience or more and if you change the years of experience required let's say uh, 12 it will give you less employees and uh, you can see how dynamic this is um, let's move to our final example and complicate things a little bit more okay so what we want to do now is to have two conditions that must um, be true for the format to be applied so we want the each employee uh, to compare each employee uh, against 10 years of experience and in a certain office for example we want to check the guys in Seattle if they have 10 years of experience or any other office location that we select from this list so as we've done before we select what we want to highlight then we go to conditional formatting and we go to a formula and since now we need to have two conditions to be true we can use the end function so we start with the equal sign as usual and we write the end and now we want to write the condition for the 10 years of experience as we've done before so we use the today function minus the higher date and we uh, sorry the higher date here and don't lock the higher date so it can move to other rows and we want uh, to divide it by 360 to get the number of years and we want that to be greater than or equal the experience required and this must stay locked so this is our first condition we add our second condition which is to check that the office location must equal to the office location that we select here so we select the first cell in the office location and make sure you don't lock the row number again and we want it to be equal to the value in this cell and we want it to be locked and now we choose our format and let's say we want to use this color with bold italic again and we click OK and oh Seattle doesn't have anybody with 10 years of experience or more let's reduce the number to five and see okay now we have two guys in Seattle who has five years of experience if you increase that to six there's nobody if you move to another office location Portland for example you get two guys in Portland with, ten, uh, with six years of experience now or more and this is the way it works uh, I hope you like the video if you do please subscribe and come back for more and thanks so much for listening